The following game and commentary is rated M for Mature. Please be aware of the following warnings. Resident Evil 2 Welcome back to the next session of Resident Evil 2. Wait to load up the save and we're going to continue. You once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Alright, so right to drop that off. So last time we left off um I almost forgot about that. So last time <clears throat> where we left off, we ended up facing Annette. Annette Birkin. Oof. That was a lot more painful than I thought it would be. And Ada went off, chased her. And now we gotta go rescue Ada. Unfortunately, we can't actually take the ladder like Ada did. Because during this time, the fan actually activated. Mm -hmm. And because it's spinning too fast, we can't get in. But coming here, we get the wolf metal. And some shotgun shells. Now, if I do all this correctly, <coughs> this will actually be the last time we use the pistol. Oh, also, during this portion, the deadliest thing you'll be seeing here are spiders. Can't go, uh, our end result here in the sewers is to go through the uh, go through the waterfall, but well, we can't do that right now. Now we use the valve here. We're still gonna use the valve for one more thing here. We need to bring this back up. Alright, I'm actually going to use one of the herbs here to get me back up to fine status. Some shells. Ah, uh, no! Why did I accept that? And I can't throw these away either. I think I might end up using the. Forget it. I really don't want to waste time. So I'm just gonna use that herb. I really, really didn't want to do that. down the sewers. You never know what's going to end up uh, showing up.
during my first playthroughs, I actually had to, I actually killed this thing with just my weapons. I'd never known about that until, like, I want to say a couple years later. But for the majority of my playthroughs, I always had to kill the alligator or crocodile, whatever, with just pure, pure weapons. You know, I may as well take it. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Alright. Now we cross it. We cross this bridge here. <clears throat> Come up here. And we've got two things here. One, it's the Eagle Metal. Remember how I said in Resident Evil 1 that we'd see the wolf and eagle medals again? Here they are. And now we got Sewer Manager Diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick on, in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much as a, of a surprise given how long... How how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been, has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible request. The chief has my sympathies though. After all, he's done for the town. He doesn't deserve this. July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the, gra on the graveyard shift. But I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect. August 21st. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation is concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and I lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. So what we get here is that this has been going on for, re for a very long time and that uh, Chief Irons has a uh, has been getting stressed with everything that's been happening at, at Umbrella. Alright, normally I don't do this, but I'm going to have to go and drop off those ink ribbons. I didn't mean to pick those up earlier. Also, now, uh, since this since this event was now act was active, that actually meant that I got rid of all the insects that were in it. So it's uh, safer to actually go through it. She tried to remember. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to drop this off. Main reason is that I 
I, I need at least like one space in case I find anything else. No, wrong way. If I didn't pick up that ink ribbon, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have needed to do this. Actually, now that I'm here, I don't think we need the Valve Hound anymore anyway, so... Yeah, I'm dropping that off. Also, I think I've mentioned it in the Resident Evil 1 playthrough. But imagine if they kept the idea of chests having their own things instead of how it is now. Imagine if I had to go run all the way back to the police station to actually get something that I dropped off there. Okay, uh, let me do that. Now, there aren't any more spiders here, but instead we'll get a whole ton of zombies. There are still spiders up there. <laughs> wow. Maybe got poisoned. I was not expecting that. I forgot to mute my phone. I'm very sorry about that. Okay. Now that's done. We can go in through here. Now, it's easy to tell to know when the uh, cloud's going to come by the falling debris. So from this point on, it's gonna be shotguns only. Yes, we want this weapon box key. If you... it doesn't actually shine. Like uh, any other uh, items, unless you actually do this. Since I already picked it up, it's not gonna shine. But that's uh, one way you can actually see how, uh, where that is. Now, this weapon box key can... We are going to be using it here, but it's for one of the best things you can get. Okay. What we're going to right here, though, is the...
That was a weird thing for the auto aim to do. Perfect. You come here and check that body, and you get the shotgun parts, which gives you the combat shotgun. More damage, changes the ammo amount from 5 to 7, and removes upper bodies. Also, don't worry too much about Ada from this point on, um, for this portion. Yeah, she is poisoned, but... Well, she'll be fine. Well, yeah, I want that stuff. Come here. Thank you. It's because of this game, I have a love for shotguns. Okay, so we can drop off the pistol. Uh, we can drop this off. I'm gonna get the submachine gun. I'm also gonna get one of these mixed herbs. Hey, look, point deductions. Now here we get magnum bullets and shells. And we are still not using the magnum for this. Actually, I am gonna save. I mentioned I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but the last time I played this, I... I pretty much started off where I started this session off, at the sewers. I've gotten past this part, pretty much near the end game, without saving. That's how overconfident I can end up being in this for this game. I can just say, screw everything, let's just go for the end, and then I die. I'll explain how, later. Also, here it's the factory map, which I don't know why they place it so far up from, because you're not gonna be coming back up here again. We want this panel key. We come down here. And use it here. Yes. This is why this part is it, important to save. Ada! Ada! 
can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it. Alright. Now we gotta go face Birkin outside. The red light would turn on and access out from outside would be prohibited for a limited time. Pretty much this means that nope, you can't check in out of this next part. Yeah, we can't go back out. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the shotgun for as long as possible. So. Run too far away from him because he will jump up on top of the tram on top of this uh, tram and I will lose sight of him. Alright, I think I'm down to him. Yes, I'm gonna heal up here. Down. Now let's go check up on the item. Okay. So for this next section, I'm actually going to use the machine gun for the rest of the playthrough. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up! Come on! Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Alright, we are now in the final portion 
uh, scenario A. So a couple things are going to be happening here. One thing, you will not see any... Any hand on rounds for this section. If there are, I may have forgotten them because they only may they more than likely only show up in one part. Two, there's gonna be a lot more dangerous stuff from this point on. Um, yeah, that's about right. And three, we won't be seeing Ada again. Well, not anytime soon, anyway. I think I mumbled that second one in the right breath, so I might not. It may not have been picked up. Okay. We won't go through this blue area first, because one thing that's happening right now is that there is actually no power at all at the lab. In fact, I think it's running on minimal settings, I want to say. So we gotta come over here. To this room. Hey, point deductions. No, what we want is this right here. Use case. We come here, and use this here. What we're doing right now is we're, in, we're um, adding the fuse to the case. We've now given ourselves the main fuse. Okay, just double checking that door because um, that might be open now, but um, it's not open yet. In fact, I, that door is actually going to be like the last thing we go through. Use the main core here. And Umbrella is now active. Okay, that's what I was thinking about earlier. User registration. Temporary user registration for the culture experiment room. Username, guest, password, none. Batted for 24 hours. So you've got to remember that. Laboratory security manual. Laboratory security manual, security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed toward the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in transit, all materials will automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northeasternmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city, limi outside the city limits. Disclosure about any information regarding research conducted here or the instance of this facility is strictly prohib prohibited. Since it, is top C it, since it is top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. So this pretty much means that 
even though they even though they are prepared for escaping they aren't they did not actually escape all right now that's done Get the shotgun now reload and get ready for one of the nastier surprises here. Yeah, those are the advanced liquors that were actually hidden in here. What's in this room? I think it's actually on the computer. No, no, I think there was something else here. There they are. Two packs of shotgun shells. 